Hello, this video is about the Phoenix Viewer, which is an excellent alternative to the standard Second Life 3 point something viewer, especially if you're having trouble running Second Life and your computer isn't quite, you know, meeting the robust technical specifications that Second Life requires. Phoenix may run better for you. So you would go to www.phoenixviewer.com. The link is below this video. And click Downloads. And you want to skip over Firestorm, uh, which is a different version that is really much more similar to the current Second Life. So it's probably going to be just as hard on your computer. So scroll down a little ways. And you want the Phoenix download version 1.6 something. OK? And you're going to want, of course, either the Windows or the Mac. So try the one that's appropriate for your machine. Please note that in some cases, in some rare cases, you may also need a secondary little fix to run Phoenix for Windows. It's another little patch just in case it doesn't launch smoothly on your machine. They've, they've got a patch. So just be aware of that. You might not need it. So you're going to do all the standard stuff. I know you know how to do it where you click, you know, the, the uh, download, you save the file and it downloads and whatnot. So I'm going to see you back here as soon as you've done that. Okay, so once you have downloaded and installed the Phoenix Viewer, um, you should have the Phoenix Viewer icon on your desktop. So double click that and I've already opened it so I'm just unminimizing it in interest of time. So you want to put the only login name that you probably have for any account that was created um, within the past more than a year now. There's just one login name. So you put that in here in first name. So I've done this before so it'll remember me and yes it does. So put in your single username that you created on secondlife.com. You don't need to make another account. For last name you're putting resident. Okay, again, it already remembered it and filled it in for me. Um, but you'll have to type the word resident there. And then, again, it remembers my password, but type your password in and uncheck remember password, especially if you're on a shared or public machine or you have young children in the house or something like that. Uncheck that. And then, of course, click login. And I've skipped over the whole loading process, but you may notice that in Phoenix, the loading process is just a little bit quicker. Everything is the same as far as using your arrow keys on your keyboard to move around. Um, you can interact with objects by right-clicking on them. Uh, but you'll notice that the menu is a pine menu rather than a little rectangular menu. It will have the same basic options. Uh, such as sit here and, and so forth. Um, right clicking on people, yourself, you'll get your own Pi menu with your profile and you know edit your appearance and see what groups you're in and things like that. And I'll just briefly point out some of the major interface differences here. But down at the bottom, uh, you have buttons with actual names and you don't have a, a little icon bar on the side here. Local chat, you will just click your cursor in that white box and type things to people in your vicinity. Communicate uh, would be any friends that you've added. Uh, you could left click on them and send them an instant message or view their profile if you wanted. Groups will be any groups you may have joined. Uh, search is how you would, of course, locate things. Uh, you can either sort by all, searching everything in Second Life, or searching on specific people if you know their avatar name and, and so forth. Here, uh, towards the lower right, you have your interfaces for playing streaming music and streaming media, if you have that enabled. Um, the map. Uh, if you knew the name of an island, you could type it in there and search for it and, and teleport to it and so forth. Your inventory is in the far lower right. And you can uh, see that you can sort by either all items, that's everything in your inventory, 
uh, just the recent things that you got in that login session, and I didn't get anything this time. And uh, worn items are all the things that you're wearing. Talk button is in the far uh, lower right. If you do have voice enabled, you would click the talk button to talk. Uh, the upper left menu has some uh, differences as well that are important to point out. Most importantly, your preferences, instead of under Me Preferences, are under Edit Preferences. And that is where you find your graphic settings, for example, whether you want to make it, um, you know, a little lower quality and thus faster. Uh, voice chat, where you can enable or disable voice. Uh, choose your device settings, such as your microphone, and things like that. Um, also under Edit, you can edit your appearance. You can also do that by right-clicking on yourself and editing your appearance. It's just one interface instead of two for your appearance to edit your shape and edit your, your outfit. So that's instead of two separate places like it is in Viewer 3, it's just one place. View uh, has the camera controls. I already have mine up. I'll take that away and enable it again. So under View, Camera Controls, and then this very small, unobtrusive uh, camera comes up where you can rotate around and uh, zoom in and out and, and, and pan side to side and so forth. World is where you can create landmark. So that's the landmark to the place that you're at. So if you click that, you'll create a landmark to this place where you're standing. And of course, you could close that. But you'll notice that it opens up your inventory right away. And it goes into the Landmarks folder of Inventory. So instead of there being a separate uh, My Places uh, area, it's all just in the one inventory. So that's what you would open to find those landmarks that you made. So those are the basic viewer differences in a nutshell. I think you'll find it a little bit easier to use and also a little bit easier on your computer. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and that it was informative to you. And I'll see you in Second Life.